Now. Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm in Kimber Camp together with uh, Tristan and we are going to make an, uh, an video out here, a very special video where we'll celebrate the winter sol solstice, uh, winter solvær as we call it here in Denmark. And uh, I, got some, I got some food with us that we can prepare on the, over the fire and it's a mix between some Viking stuff and some traditional Danish uh, Christmas uh, food that we uh, uh, eat here up to these holidays. So yeah, and I'll cover other things I would like to show you. I made some new lamps. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. And a very special thing for my uh, for our uh, celebration of the sun is turning and coming back again. So yeah, hope you join us at this one. Now I'll begin to prepare my food and show you what I have brought on this little trip. Yeah, and this is the food uh, we are going to prepare tonight. Some potatoes and of course uh, the Vikings didn't have potatoes. So uh, this is a traditional Danish uh, way to uh, make potatoes. These potatoes are boiled and uh, then I put some sugar on the pan together with some, some butter. Yeah, and then, then uh, will be caramelized, I think it's called. So we call them um, kartofler, brown potatoes, but you can call them sugar potatoes if you want. And uh, together with that, we have some uh, red cabbage that is also very traditional. We eat a lot of this uh, during the holidays and uh, it's just boiled and uh, added some sugar and then, of course, some bacon. And normally we would have pig roast uh, for this and some gravy, but uh, out here I'll make uh, some bacon slice that it will cook over the fire, fry over the fire, and together with the potatoes and the red cabbage, I think it's going to be delicious. So now I'm going to uh, prepare uh, this, the bacon first, and uh, put it on the grill. Yeah. Then I make some slides here, bacon slides. How many can you eat, Tristan? Three, four? I think I'll make six. One, two, three, four, five, one more. And see, we can always make some more. Yeah. So, uh, this six pieces I will cook over the fire. Let me put it on here. Of course, I have to be careful, and uh, the grease from the bacon is also igniting the, the fire. You can cook over over open fire if you are. Very careful. I like them crispy. Tristan says it's good now. So I'll take this one. This one? Yeah. Oops. And this one. Yeah. And then I'm going to make my potatoes. And um, yeah. First of all, I'll take the sugar, put it on the pan. Nicely. Yeah. Then it has to melt. Melt, yes, that's right. Tristan. 
I think I'll put the the red cabbage over here. Let it heat a little bit. Now you can see it's beginning to to melt the sugar and When it's all melted, I put some uh, butter on. But you have to wait until all the sugar is melted. Um, Otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah, but you shouldn't let it burn. No, I know. But it's very difficult over open fire. Let's see. I'm going to say it's the first time I'm out making brune kartofler so sweet potatoes yeah i think that's good and then some butter on yeah three small pieces yeah and then uh, twist on the potatoes if you can put them on all at once. No, not like, try a little bit at a time. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Probably more, perhaps. Yeah. Oops. That's nice. Yeah. So my question is, is this something you make also, or is it especially Danish or Scandinavian? Have you ever seen this before? Try it. Uh, these potatoes, otherwise I'll say you should try it. It's very delicious. Tristan say, ah, he's not sure it's this kind of food, but I like it, and you know, I'm the chief, that's why it's going to be like this. Aha. Yeah, but I must say it looks really nice. It's so down. Good to have a useful trial. Oh. It's beginning to heat up, so in a couple of minutes, I think it's finished, and we can eat our Christmas or Jule middag, Jule dinner. Yes, now we are ready for our Christmas dinner, Viking inspired, and uh, for this meal, I bought this beer. Uh, as Jule Vidul. It's mean Christmas or Jule uh, white beer and the white beer, I don't know why it's called that, but it's a very light beer. It's only 1.9% alcohol, so I'll give this a little bit to Tristan and me together with this uh, food and uh, also when we're going to make our little celebration, our little ceremony. Yeah. So, do you want to have first Tristan or shall I? Brown potatoes, then you can take, and then some red cabbage. Together with some bacon. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. And look at this Danish Jule food with okay. a twist of Vikings. Food. Now we are going to drink uh, beer in our horns, of course. Have your drinking horn here. Shall I? Perhaps you should take this off first. I can put it here. There you are. And for me, it's 
Skål Tristan and uh, Merry Jul to you and your family and to all of you guys out there. Mm. Ah, nice. And then I have one of the gaffer. I have a four hundred you. I think it's delicious, yeah. Not quite the same as pig roast and gravy, but bacon is always good. Mmm. The only thing that I don't all the smell is better than what Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I think this is mine, the last piece of bacon. Mm. Mm. And for tonight and our celebration of winter solstice, I made these uh, lamps. They are a replica uh, lamp that is found in Birka, as you can see in this picture. And uh, yeah, I made it and I made it a little video about how I made these uh, two Birka lamps. So um, if you'd like to see that, you can see it now. First of all, I bought some clay. Uh, normally we use this for uh, some Christmas decoration where we put candles in and some uh, brew sticks. But uh, for this purpose, I bought it for making these uh, Birka lamps. I cut a piece out and uh, mold it. Uh, you have to uh, be very thorough and uh, mold it a lot so that all the uh, air in the clay uh, is pressed out. And then I make the bottom first and I use a piece of uh, paper that I use in uh, ovens um, so that the clay doesn't stick to the to the board. And uh, yeah, you can see here, first I made the bottom and then I cut a new piece. Mold it again, so all the air comes out of the clay, and then I roll it to this shape, about one centimeter in diameter, and uh, put it on top of the bottom, and uh, this is actually the way that the Viking made their pottery. Uh, this is the technique they used. Just make sure that the clay is well uh, attached to the bottom. As you can see here, all the way around, both inside and outside, and then you just continue uh, putting these uh, sausages on top of each other and mold it tightly together. And uh, you can make it as high as you want. I think I made it about 
6 cm high. You can see here, pressing it down. Also on the inside. And then I use a, a wet uh, sponge so I can make a fine surface. And again, inside and outside. And then I'm finished with the with the pot. And then I make another one of these. Uh, small sausages and it's for uh, inside the, the little container where I can have the wick. And uh, then I just have to secure it down in the middle. And it's not so easy because there's not much room there. Finish it up. Looking good. Yeah, and then I made the other one and I started backwards. I uh, made the center first, trying if this was easier. To uh, secure it better on the bottom, and uh, yes, it was. It was uh, much easier, but yeah, uh, putting these on and uh, mold it in uh, from the inside was a little bit difficult. It's the same work. Here you can see the two and uh, yeah then I put them in a cold place where they could dry up and after a couple of days they were finished and uh, there were no cracks in them and that's uh, why it has to dry very slowly. see how they look and then I had to make the wicks and I use some cloth from linen measure it out the right size cutting it in small pieces again checking Yeah, that's the perfect size for this one. And then I just have to uh, sew it together, like this. I actually made uh, this lamp before, uh, out in Kimper Camp, using a piece of uh, birch wood, and that worked great too. But the, this way, with clay, it's the like the original the Birka lamp. So uh, that's why I made them for this special occasion. And uh, then I finished with the sewing. And I just want to uh, make it look fine, so I 
turn the inside out. I guess you didn't have to do that. You don't have to do that, but uh, I think it looks better. Yeah, then the wig is finished. And uh, I can see if it fits over this. Yeah. And just fluff it up in the end. Looking great. And the, the other one too. And then I have some lard that is uh, fed from pigs that I bought from a butcher. I uh, melted in a pot and then I just pour it over like this and uh, put it in the cold place and after that it looked like this and this is the lamps I'm going to use tonight as you can see uh, in the video yeah hope you enjoyed a little thing you can make at home and uh, if you can get the lard and then uh, make a little wick then you're good to go. So now I'm going to light them up outside and see how they works. They're working fine. The sun wheel is also called sun cross, wheel cross, Odin's cross and consists of a crossed frame in a circle. It is one of the oldest symbols used by humans and is known from the transition between the last part of the Stone Age and into the Bronze Age. In Scandinavia, the sun wheel was used in the Bronze Age as a symbol of the sun and it appears on many petroglyphs, rocks carving. It's an old Nordic sign of the sun and the gods Odin, the supreme god of Norse mythology. Good everyone and uh, happy winter solstice. ceremony uh, that uh, indicates that the spring is near, uh, the days are turning. Here in Denmark we have a box approximately six to, se six to seven hours of daylight, so uh, we're looking forward to the coming spring and summer. Yeah, so this was a little ceremony that uh, celebrated that, and I'll say uh, Merry Yule to all of you and Happy New Year! Um, it's been a wonderful year and I'm so grateful for all the support and kindness you are giving me. And uh, Tristan is with me and I, my intention is to make more videos, uh, Viking videos, with, together with Tristan and uh, perhaps Martin. So we can make a little group 
of Vikings here up in northern part of Jutland. So yeah, it's been a wonderful evening here. And today when this video is launched, it's actually the day that it is winter solstice, winter solvær. Yeah. But uh, this was all for now, folks. Uh, this will be my last video this year. Uh, I'll start again in uh, January and uh, make some new videos. Uh, Viking and bushcraft thing. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. And I hope to see you there. Bye bye. Take care.